going on Wargamers? This is Chris and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint old rusty effects kind of like this one. You will need Mornfang Brown, Necron Compound, Rise of Rust, Typhus Corrosion, and nylock oxide however you say that all right first things first what you want to do get all of your all of your pieces based and I use black preferably just because it's easier to work with in my opinion that way if you forget anything miss any areas all the recesses will have shades and such so it makes it a little bit easier all right first thing we're gonna do grab our Mornfang Brown we're just gonna kind of stipple some color onto it let's see Get a little bit on there. Eat too much. Alright. Nothing crazy. Try to use like an old brush for this just because of the looks that I'm going after. So. Nothing crazy. Somewhere in between, you know, regular brush and dry brush. So. Start, do some of the corners here, I'll kind of blob on, a little bit thicker. Once that's finished, then what we're going to do, we'll grab our Necron compound, <clears throat> and we'll just kind of hit the outside real quick. All right, <clears throat> next up, we're going to grab our Typhus Corrosion, give that a good shake. Then what we're going to do is we're going to slap this around all the areas where we want our rust to be really heavily. So, usually around the bottom. It's a good place to start. Okay. 
Ya, 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 all right once that's dried what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our nylock my nihilac oxide give it a good shake all right and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do basically like a pin washing and we're just gonna get the details here Then the final step, you kind of tie everything in, your dry riser rust. gonna kind of come through As you can see, <clears throat> this is how we achieve our old rusty look. And go back through, kind of hit some of the old edges with some orange, kind of take the metallic out of it, but for the most part, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll keep making more videos to just kind of give you an idea on some of the processes that I do. I'm by no means a professional painter, but any tips and tricks I can share with you to make your life easier will be great. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.